seated. Good evening, I'm Casey Johnson, Assistant Principal. It's my pleasure to open this year's Calusa High School Commencement Exercises. Out of consideration for all who are in attendance, I would like to make a few requests. First, would you please remain seated throughout the ceremonies so everyone is able to see and hear. We appreciate your co uh, cooperation. For those in attendance who have brought balloons in the celebration of your students' achievements, we ask you to please hand them to a high school representative so they can properly place them on the side of the stands. Thank you for understanding. Okay. At this time, I would like to introduce Renee Rizinski, Senior Class President, who will lead us in the salute of our nation's flag. Correction, Ms. Reese Roper.
cute. Now we'd ask you again to please stand for the playing of our national anthem. Unified School District Superintendent Rebecca Changas. It is my honor this evening to introduce our Board of Trustees. As our elected leaders, it is our ultimate responsibility to guide the district to ever higher achievement. Would the Board of Trustee members please stand? Our board members are Mrs. Erin Stottlemyre, President. CHS mid-August 2018 and they have made outstanding personal growth, received well-deserved awards for their various achievements and overcoming struggles in order to sit before you as a graduate of 2022. Attaining a high school diploma from Calusa High School is some symbolic of perseverance and a relentless effort in the discovery of knowledge and the pursuit of academic success. As you move on to the next chapter in life, realize you were never alone. This community takes pride in the support it offers the youth of Calusa. Many seniors sit here today because an individual sitting in the audience simply refused to give up. Life goes faster than we wish, and our seniors will often say that the days and years went faster than they ever expected. Parents, your seniors took the time in the final days at CHS to write a letter of reflection and gratitude to you. It was mailed home to you earlier today, and we hope their words capture the various feelings they undoubtedly are feeling at this very moment. Graduates, understand that those wonderful, selfless people have endured a great deal to make sure you are where you are right now. You have never been alone because of their love and dedication. Although this day is for you, it is more, even more monumental for your parents I see sitting in the stands with complete pride for you. I would like the parents of graduates to please stand up wherever you are. Please stand up. Seniors, please give your parents a round of applause. Teachers, office staff, counselors, aides, secretaries, 
nurses, maintenance staff, everyone involved in schools do not nearly get as much credit as they deserve. The CHS staff truly possesses passion for educating our youth today. Their efforts go beyond the classroom walls as a majority of our staff put countless additional hours into extracurricular clubs, sports, and academic competitions, as well as activities. I'm so proud to work with such an amazing group of individuals. The CHS staff will sit here because and support your days to come as we hope today is not goodbye, but farewell. Could I please ask the CHS staff to stand up? Everyone, please join me in giving our staff the proper thank you for every single day. Our school has a group of parents who have sacrificed so much in order for these graduates to receive the very best for their time here. The Clusa Red Hawk Athletic Foundation has purchased uniforms, weight room equipment, new digital scoreboard table, volleyball net systems, championship banners, the gym sound system, and many more over the years. They have even placed, paid to replace lost or damaged equipment from other surrounding schools because their kindness shows no boundaries. If you were, are or were part of the craft organization over these past four years supporting and contributing to the class of 2022, please stand so we can properly recognize your efforts. Class of 2022, I'm so very proud of you for your achievements and dedication to your education. At this time, we will recognize, excuse me, at this time, I will ask Ms. Kelly Griffith Garcia to come to present our golden apple. Graduates, parents, and honored guests, as a member of the Calusa Unified School District Board of Trustees, it is my pleasure to present the Golden Apple Award. This annual distinction honors the people or organizations in our community who not being directly associated with Calusa schools have made significant contributions to education. Tonight, we are honoring an individual who has supported the youth of Calusa and their education. This individual places effort into becoming part of the solution and team to provide the very best for our students. They have worked many years with the Calusa Youth Special Olympics. They volunteer driving students to sporting events and extracurricular activities. If you've attended any CHS activities, you can easily spot this individual with a camera as they are known as the official parent photographer for any CHS event. Calusa Red Hawk Athletic Foundation has been lucky to have this individual helping with the sales of booster passes and keeping the Facebook page up to date since 2015. They've spent the last eight years as a co-chair of the Jim Ernst Basketball Tournament as well as helping with the organization of the 2019 and 2022 grad nights. In a world clinging for positive recognition, she is a person who pauses to say thank you and recognizes the amount of effort put into celebrating and recognizing our students. At the March 2022 Calusa Unified School Board meeting, the board voted unanimously to honor this individual with this award. This individual sits in the stands tonight, most likely with their camera in hand. I would like to ask Kelly Hickel to please come forward.
also have students tonight wearing black stoles with a gold stripe, which represents students completing all of the A through G requirements, thus making them immediately eligible for admission to the UC and CSUs. Will all 35 students who achieve this accomplishment please stand to be recognized? Graduates wearing green stoles completed three to four years of Spanish classes with a B minus or higher, was a paid member of Spanish club, and completed hours of community service. Will the 14 students wearing the stoles representing the Spanish pathway, as well as their Spanish teachers, please stand. signifies California Scholastic Federation. Students must earn CSF honors a minimum of five semesters, indicating academic achievement throughout the grades 10 through 12th grade, with one semester of achievement being attained in their senior year. Will the four students who achieve this honor, as well as the CSF advisor, please stand to be recognized. Lastly, this is a special one for our class, our community, and our school. Our graduates wearing the blue stole with the American flag have committed to serving in a military branch to serve and protect our country. The four individuals wearing a military stole please stand for the recognition you so deeply deserve. student speeches. First, I'd like to introduce class of 2022 salutatorian, Mr. Ethan Lay. Uh, first off, I know every single speech is going to start off with thanking the parents, faculty, families, and friends here today, and uh, so will I. Mom and Dad, I can't thank you enough. I would not be standing up here today if it wasn't for you. And to all the support here today, I can't be thanked enough for the endless hours sacrificed and gifting us the best primary, middle, and high school experiences possible. So let's give a round of applause to them. Also, of course, congratulations to my fellow classmates, the class of 2022. At the beginning of the school year, when I was heading on the path of achieving salutatorian, knowing I'd have to give a speech at graduation, I was stressed. Because I didn't know what I wanted to talk about, who I wanted to talk about, or even what a unique graduation speech sounded like. So I started a note section on my phone at the beginning of the year, hoping to accumulate some ideas as the year went on. I wrote down every inspirational moment or piece of advice that I knew I would carry with me forever. The first thing that got written down was Coach Vito's letter. Unfortunately, that is not very useful when you forget where you put the letter, but I remember he talked about how to handle the future, and when you don't get the break that you needed, fail an assignment, or get rejected by the girl that you asked out, maybe even more than once, you just have to put your head down and focus on the bigger picture. The second thing I wrote down was Sharpen You. This is derived from an inspirational speaker that we heard in FBLA conference this year. He talked about the people that you should spend your time with. He said that you should not spend your time with people that bring you down or people that hang on by your coattails. You should spend time with the people that sharpen you. People that challenge you every day to be the, person you, you know, the best person you can be, and I've been fortunate enough to have those people in my life. One being my cousin, or if you ask her, my twin, Reese Roper. If it wasn't for her, I would have probably turned half my permission to plate, and I would have for sure enjoyed a quieter existence. <laughs> but although she can be loud, she also reminded me to enjoy every moment and last memory. Another being my best friend, Nick Price, who could have easily been up here in my place tonight. 
but he heard that he had to give a speech, so he skipped a couple homework assignments and missed his class so I could talk to him. Uh, but he never stopped challenging me to become a better student and friend. So I encourage all of you to find the people that sharpen you and challenge you to be a better person in the next stage of your life. I'm going to group my third, fourth, and fifth ideas together, which are how hard are you willing to work, why not excel at what you love, and don't worry about what everyone else is doing. My dad always told me that he knew I was naturally gifted and I would be good at most things I tried. But if I wanted it and was willing to work for it, I could be great. As a kid, I wasn't really sure what that entailed. As I've grown up, I've learned exactly what he meant. Spending endless hours in the field, in the weight room, and in the bullpen has given me so many opportunities thus far and in the future. So I encourage all of you to find your passion in life and strive to be the best in it. Because I promise you, life is so much more rewarding and enjoyable when you walk away from whatever you love doing, knowing that you couldn't have been better at it. The sixth thing on my list, things are only as good as you make it. This was told to me by one of my closest friends, Monahee Guzman. She said this to me after the Sadie Hawkins dance, and there wasn't as much participation as a normal year, so naturally some people weren't having as much fun. Yeah, um, not on he. She got her full money and time's worth out of that dance. And I was talking to her afterwards, and she said that people can act cool if they want to, but things are only as good as you make it, and I couldn't agree more. So once again, I encourage all of you to stop worrying about what everyone else thinks and enjoy life. Because as we all know now, it goes by too fast not to enjoy every moment. Lastly, I'm going to tie in my last two ideas in my notes. I wrote down, trust the process and you will discover things about yourself and skills you would never forget. I literally wrote that down. Like, I don't know who I think I am writing something that deep. <laughs> the last one is right out of the graduation speech handbook as well. I wrote, for the connection and friends we've made that we will never forget. These last and the most important, I want to take the rest of my time to thank Calusa High School and the town of Calusa once again. High school has put us all into uncomfortable situations that none of us would voluntarily do. None of us wanted to practice interviewing for the first time in Miss Bird's class our freshman year, and yes, Miss Michael, I will always call you Bird, sorry. None of us wanted to think about uh, what they called a career during sophomore and junior year. None of us wanted to apply for colleges and scholarships, because that would remind us that we're leaving home soon. And for sure, none of us wanted to do the senior project. Well, I'm glad we did, because it allowed us to grow and consider what our future may look like. And finally, living in Clues my whole life, I've been able to make lifelong connections and friendships that I will forever cherish. I'm not ready to accept the fact that after 13 years, this is it, but I wouldn't have wanted to spend my childhood with anyone else. Hopefully, all of you can take the inspiration I found throughout my last year at Clues High School and look for your own to help pave the way to your happiness and success. So I'll close it out saying once a red hawk, always a red hawk, but instead, I just want you all to know that I love you and wish you the best in your future endeavors. And as Tyler James Oliver would say, that's it. Thank you. <laughs>
past four years have shown us anything, it's that each and every student in this class is capable of breaking the mold and forging their own new path. And as we head into the next parts of our lives, I'm confident that this will serve us well. In fact, it seems to be exactly what we need in this rapidly changing world. My fellow graduates, don't be afraid to stand up to the status quo and do things your own way. While your potential impact may seem small at first, it can be the start of something much greater and groundbreaking. So don't underestimate your impact and fight for the change you want to see. Finally, I can't talk about the success of this class without giving a huge thank you to every person who helped us get here. Parents and guardians, thank you for everything you've done to raise us and for putting up with our certainly exhausting to teaching us. Teachers and school staff, thank you for tackling the countless challenges posed by the pandemic to give us the chance to learn and grow. And community members, thank you for your often unseen but critically important support of our athletics, academics, senior projects, and extra programs. We truly could not have done this without you all. And so even though we may not say it often enough, we appreciate you and are so when we leave the stadium tonight, our chapter at Clusa High School will be back to a bittersweet end, but the next parts of our lives will be just beginning. As we head into the future, we will be guided by the lessons that we've learned during our time as residents. Now it's our turn to change the world, so just like our class has always done on this campus, be willing to embrace the unconventional and take advantage of this chance to make your way. Thank you. This brings us to the presentation of awards portion of this evening. We are honored to welcome Lori Foster, who will be giving out scholarships from the Calusa County Scholarship Foundation. representative for the Calusa County Scholarship Foundation. Established in 1973, this organization has presented over $2 million in scholarships since then. These scholarships are made possible through the continuing generosity of individuals, businesses, and organizations in Calusa and the county. Our job is to screen the paper applications, personally interview seniors from throughout the county, then match the students who apply for scholarships with the criteria set forth by the sponsors of each award. Tonight, our organization will present $119,000 to seniors throughout the county. It's our privilege to present scholarships totaling $35,000 to 16 Lewis High School graduates this evening. I would like each recipient to come to the podium as your name is announced to receive your award. A description of each award is included in your program. Reese Roper. Reese receives the Calusa County Ronis Classic Scholarship. Gladys Alvarez Ramirez. <coughs> Gladys is receiving the Fernandez Family Award, the Empire Farming Company Award, and the James Granzella Memorial Award. <laughs> Holly Hickok. <laughs> Holly is receiving the Charles T. Yerkson Memorial Award, the Calusa Rotary Club Award, and the Jim Davison Family Memorial Award. Ethan Lay. Ethan is receiving the Empire Farming Company Award, the Spring Valley Lodge IOOF Award, and the Calus Rotary Club Award. Juan Carlos Casorla. Juan Carlos is receiving the Paul Steidemar Memorial Award, the Ram Trucking Award, and the Kurt Kelleher Memorial Award. <laughs> Abigail Wolf. <laughs> Abigail is receiving the Calista Women's Club Award and the Cam Lee Memorial Award. <laughs> Abigail Myers. <laughs> Abigail is receiving the Calista 
Rotary Club Award, the Calusa County Scholarship Foundation Award, and the Davidson Drug and Stationery Award. Renee Rosinski. Renee is receiving the Calusa Regional Medical Center Foundation Award, the Calusa Rotary Club Award, the Calusa Women's Club Award, and the Calusa Lions Club Award. Jim Redding Memorial Club Award from the Calusa Lions Club and the Cam Lee Memorial Award. Daniela Soto. Daniela is receiving the Calusa County Scholarship Foundation Award, Calusa Women's Club Award, and the Susan Brown Memorial Award. Adrian Pintoya. Adrian is receiving the McCollum Memorial Award and the James Grenzella Memorial Award. <laughs> Estefania Cervantes Montero. <laughs> Estefania is receiving the Paul Steidel Memorial Award and the Clusa Rotary Club. <laughs> Nicholas Price. Scholarship Foundation Award, Davis Morgan Station Award, and the West Butte Realty Award. On behalf of the athletic department at Calusa High School, it is a pleasure to be here this evening. I'd like to congratulate all of our 2022 graduates on a job well done. I have the pleasure of recognizing two of our student athletes here. The Calusa High School Senior Athlete of the Year is given to a senior male and female athlete who have demonstrated an unyielding desire to compete on the athletic fields of competition to the very best of their ability. Their dedication and success has given them honor and recognition at Calusa High School within Calusa County and throughout the CIF Northern Section. To honor their achievements, three male and three female senior athletes are chosen as finalists. They are ranked using our Athletic of the Year rubric. The 2022 CHS Female Athlete of the Year spent seven of her 12 seasons of sport at the varsity level. She earned Miss Red Hawk status at Calusa High School, competing in three seasons of four, excuse me, three seasons of sport for four years. She was part of three league championships, earned all league recognition a total of two times, was voted SBL MVP once, she was a part of one section championship team, Calusa High School's first ever championship in volleyball in 2019. This year's Calusa High School Female Athlete of the Year, Miss Reese Roper. The 2022 CHS Male Athlete of the Year spent nine of his 12 seasons of sport at the varsity level. He earned Mr. Red Hawk status at CHS, competing in three sports for four seasons. He was a part of seven league championships, earned all league recognition five times, 
and was voted SBL MVP twice. He was a part of two section championship teams and was also a member of the 2021 Division V State Team of the Year in Baseball. He was chosen to the small school All-State Baseball Team in 2021. This young man has excelled in the classroom as well and he is also the salutatorian for the class of 2022. It's my honor, Mr. Ethan Lay. to give a small gift to pause before the recognition of our seniors. Typically, their class song is in the faded background as you celebrate as families and you take pictures. This year, we're going to pause and we're going to play the class song before we get to the main event. She knows it. She's a brand new bride. And her one bed room It is now time to present the 2022 Blues High School. My honor to introduce Casey Johnson and Irma Liao, who will be reading the names of our graduates of 2022. Renee Ellen Rezinski. Ethan James Lay. Reese Jennifer Roper. Nicholas Price. Anahi Guzman Lara. Holly Marie Hickel. Abigail Myers. Daniela Soto Dominguez. Lissandra Fuerte Garcia. Maria Emily Valdez Avila.
Abigail Lynn Wolf. Allison Elena Leos. Estefania Cervantes Montero. Adrián Pantoja Ballesteros. Jaspreet Kaur Shoker. Gladys Almaraz Ramirez. Juan Carlos Casorla. Guadalupe Carrillo Pérez. Christopher Rodriguez. <laughs> Sofia Mercado. <laughs> Jesus Jimenez Valdez. Elizabeth Alejandre Jimenez. <laughs> Joseph Maciel. <laughs> Daniela Flores. Julian Juarez. <laughs> Logan Santana. Garofalo. Clara Margaret Dorsey. Jimena Giselle Mendoza Gomez. Neil Lee Harder. Yohani Daili Padilla. James Paregalos. <laughs> Brianna Pinon. Esteban
Luis Hernández García. Talamantes. Marco Antonio Cano Rivera. Justin Lee. Jose Bernardo Jimenez. Kimberly Michelle Rodriguez Trejo. Gabriel Juan Manjarez. Emmanuel Eman Frias. Diamond! 
Camila Ramirez. Trent Henrik Mendenhall. Lisa Marie Valdez Granados. <laughs> Madison Marie Reister. Julio Granados. Richard Mitchum III. Guadalupe Valdez Reese. <laughs> Tyler James Oliver. Graduation from Clusa High School. 
of the authority vested in me by the Cruz Unified School District Board of Trustees in the state of California, I hereby confer upon the class of 2022 of Calusa High School the diploma of graduation. Please move your tassel from right to left.